So we'll look at some um, probability tables. Now with probability, if you're given all of the possibilities of x, then a fact that must exist is that being one of those values, any one of them, um, will come to 1 altogether. So the probability of x being 1, 2, 3 or 4 is a certainty, because those are the numbers you can only be. So in the first table you'll see that the probability that x is 1 is 0.2, the probability that uh, x is 2 is unknown, the probability that x is 3 is 0.2, and the probability that x is 4 is 0.3. So the, the, what we can write down then as a fact is that 0.2, that's the probability of 1, plus the unknown probability, plus the probability of being 3, or the probability of being 4, will all come to 1. So we can add up the decimals on the left hand side of our equation and we get 0.2 and 0.2 and 0.3. That's just like adding 2, 2 and 3 really with a point in front of it. So we've got 0.7 plus x equals 1. And we can do 1 subtract 0.7. We should really be able to do this in our heads and say the answer is 0.3. So the probability that x equals 2 is 0.3. Now sometimes they give um, two values that are not known. In this case we don't know the value of the probability of x being 1 and we don't know the probability of x being 4 either. But in the same way we can write out our equation again using the fact that all probabilities add up to 1. And we can bring our x terms together and say that 2x plus, then we can bring the 0.3 together, 0.6, equals 1. Now, if we take 1 away from, so if we take 0.6 away from 1, we now know that 2x equals 0.4. And if we half 0.4, divide through by 2, we find that the value of x is 0.2. And both those sort of questions will get you about two marks in the exam. Now they sometimes add on an extra piece to the question. They might say, if the experiment that leads to these possibilities of 1, 2 and 3 is repeated 500 times, so we do this experiment 500 times, how many, how many times do we expect, I'll just quickly write it down, to get x, say to get x equal to 3. Well, it's 500 times the probability that we'll get 3, which is 0 0.3. Now, 5 times 3 is 15. It's got to be less than 500, so and it's not going to be 15, it's going to be more than that. It's going to be 150. Remember, um, you should know that it's 3 fives of the 15, and then we've got two noughts there, but we're at the decimal point here, so it just puts one naught on. Another way of doing this is it should be obvious to you that 0 0.1 is 50. So 0 0.3 will be 150. 0 0.1 is a tenth. A tenth of 500 is 50. 50. And so, so then 50 times 3 gives you the 0.3. Okay, obviously if, if this isn't a calculator exam, then you can do it with a calculator. Alright, that is probability tables.